Hello everyone, with the Jamaica here. Welcome to this updated video on the weather across Jamaica and the Caribbean. It is Sunday evening, April 2, 2023. Now before we jump into it, please ensure that you guys like the video, share it, subscribe and tap the notification bell so that you'll be notified every time I post a brand new video. Feel free to leave a comment down in the comment section letting me know what the weather has been like in your ear recently. Also feel free to ask any weather related question that you might have about the future of the weather in your specific area. I respond to all comments and I really live for this stuff. Alright, so taking a look at the surface map of the Atlantic for this evening, we can see that we have a cold front right there off the east coast of the United States, across portions of Florida and the Gulf of Mexico, and we can also see that we have another cold front right there to the north of the main development region. To the north of that cold front, we can see a high pressure ridge that's responsible for sending a lot of easterly trade winds across the main development region into the Caribbean. Taking a look at the visible satellite images before the sun went down, we can see the clouds associated with that cold front off the east coast of the United States, also affecting portions of the Gulf of Mexico and Florida with some amount of overcast skies and rainfall. And we can also see the clouds associated with that second cold front right there to the north of the main development region. If you look closely, you can also see some low level patches of clouds moving from east to west across the eastern Caribbean, all courtesy of that easterly trade wind brought about by that high pressure ridge. We'll be talking about the rest of the Caribbean's weather later on. Let's focus our attention on the prediction that was made for Jamaica's weather today in yesterday's post. It was stated that we would have received some amount of rainfall across portions of western Jamaica during the afternoon hours. And what ended up happening? A post was made at 4.21 p.m. highlighting some amount of clouds bring overcast skies and rainfall to sections of some western parishes. So just like the models predicted, that's exactly what took place. Taking a look at the visible satellite images of Jamaica right now before the sun went down, we can see that yes, we had a buildup of clouds across western Jamaica. We also had a buildup of clouds across inland areas of some central parishes as well. If we take a look at the Doppler radar images as well, we know that the Doppler radar images show the actual rainfall as opposed to satellite images that show the cloud cover and we can have cloud cover over an area and not necessarily any rainfall. So as seen we can see some amount of rainfall indicated by those greens and yellows. The greens represent moderate rainfall, the yellows represent strong rainfall and we can see it exiting the coast of Westmoreland right there. So portions of Negril gotten on some amount of rainfall in the late evening hours as well. Taking a look at the temperatures for tonight, we can see that we have 25 degrees Celsius in Kingston and 25 degrees Celsius in Montego Bay and as the night usually progresses, we have the temperatures getting lower. Taking a look at the temperature forecast for tomorrow, we can see that for the most part, Jamaica is embedded in some slight above normal temperatures, maybe at least 1 degree Celsius above normal temperatures for tomorrow. Both Euro and the GFS are showing some slightly above normal temperatures for 1 p.m. on Monday. And what are the average temperatures for the month of April? About 88 degrees Fahrenheit. And when we take a look at the thermometer, that's about the equivalent of about 31 degrees Celsius. And if we're going to be receiving slightly above normal temperatures, at least 1 degree Celsius above normal, we should be getting up to 32 degrees Celsius at most. If we take a look at the dry air map, we can see that Jamaica is still embedded in some amount of yellows, oranges and reds that indicate dry air. However, the driest air is right there across portions of Africa and the areas to the northwest of there. As we can see by the keys that represent red and white within those reds, showing the driest air. And the Saharan dust map is also showing that the driest air is where the actual dust is. So all of the browns that represent the dust off of the Sahara Desert is located there. For 2 p.m. on Monday, Jamaica seems to be in the clear. Taking a look at the wave forecast for tomorrow, Jamaica is still being impacted by 1.5 meter wave height or less. And that's due to the fact that we'll be receiving 10 to 20 knot winds coming in from the east. But where does all of this air pile up? Where do we see the least amount of air as indicated by the blues? The least amount of air or the least amount of wind are right there across portions of inland areas of some central and western parishes. And wherever we have that piling up of the air, that's where we have majority of the cloud cover in the afternoon hours. 
which might lead to some amount of afternoon convection building up of some thunder clouds uh, or cumulonimbus nimbus cloud and what usually ends up happening when we have that build up of afternoon convection the wind shear up in the upper levels of the atmosphere tends to blow those thunder clouds off to whichever direction the wind shear is blowing tomorrow at 1 pm we can see that both the euro and the gfs are showing that the wind shear should be coming in from the northwest so if any form of rainfall comes about and form some amount of thunder clouds then those will be blown off towards the southeast bringing more of the rainfall as well as the overcast skies across portions of some southern parishes let's take a look at the precipitation forecast for tomorrow we can see that by 7 a.m eastern standard time which is actually 6 a.m jamaica time we're seeing some blues that represent rainfall on both the euro and the gfs models across portions of eastern jamaica so maybe st thomas and portland skipping ahead to about 10 a.m eastern standard time which is actually 9 a.m jamaica time we still have some blues that represent rainfall across portions of eastern jamaica so we still have that rainfall coming in some isolated showers right there skipping ahead to about 12 p.m jamaica time we see that the rainfall has spread to some central parishes so eastern and central parishes are what both miles are showing at that time then finally at about 3 p.m jamaica time we see that the rainfall has left eastern jamaica is more concentrated across portions of central and western jamaica as usual in the afternoon so we can we will see exactly what unfolds with that we know that when we have consensus or agreement on both models the chances of it actually happening are much higher taking a look at the accumulated precipitation forecast this map is showing all the rainfall that's expected from now upon until 10 p.m on monday and as you can see majority of the rainfall is being piled up across eastern jamaica it makes sense because for the longest while from the morning up until the afternoon hours we're going to be receiving some amount of rainfall so it makes sense that we have majority of the accumulated precipitation on a both the euro and the gfs models being shown across portions of eastern jamaica maybe some slight afternoon rainfall across portions of western jamaica just like what we saw as well and we are indeed grateful for that considering that we are in the month of april we shall receive up to 114 millimeters of rainfall and any rainfall that we get during the dry season is much welcome all right so that's it for the forecast across jamaica let's focus our attention on the rest of the caribbean so as stated we can see a lot of clouds right there across portions of the windward and possible leeward islands bringing some amount of overcast skies and showers to those spots we can see some clouds right there across portions of panama and costa rica some clouds coming into sections of nicaragua as well taking a look at the doppler radar images of the northeastern caribbean we're going to be seeing that we have some amount of isolated showers across the waters right there to the south of the u.s and british virgin islands taking a look at the actual images from about 2 p.m today we can see some passing scattered showers right there to the north east and west of puerto rico we can also see that we have some amount of rainfall affecting portions of the british and the u.s virgin islands right there if we take a look at the barbados radar we can see that we have some rainfall not really affecting barbados at this time maybe a passing shower or two but majority of the rainfall is to the north and west of there so islands such as maybe martinique saint lucia portions of saint vincent grenada getting in on some amount of rainfall today as well as this evening taking a look at a wider view of doppler radar images we can see that for the most part majority of the area has no rainfall nothing across portions of belize or honduras nothing that drastic across portions of colombia even although we see some one or two dots of rainfall right there nothing being shown across portions of suriname or french guyana as well taking a look at the temperature forecast for tomorrow we can see that for the most part the eastern caribbean should be receiving some slightly below average temperatures anywhere from French Guyana, Suriname, Guyana, uh, well, the northeastern tip of Guyana, portions of the eastern section of Venezuela, Trinidad and Tobago, and areas to the north of that. 
However, we can see the yellows or the oranges or the reds that represent above normal temperatures everywhere else but there. So sections of Western Venezuela, Colombia, majority of Panama, majority of Honduras, Guatemala, majority of Mexico, majority of the Southern United States, the Bahamas, Cuba, Hispaniola, including Dominican Republic and Haiti, and the Turks and Caicos should be receiving some above normal temperatures for tomorrow. Taking a look at the Saharan dust for tomorrow, we can see some slight browns right there across portions of Trinidad and Tobago. Some of the islands of the, the windward islands right there, portions of Venezuela, Guyana, Suriname, and French Guyana, not to mention portions of Brazil, will be getting in on some slight Saharan dust or hazy conditions for 2 p.m. on Monday. Taking a look at the wave forecast for tomorrow, we can see that both the Euro and the GFS are still showing some amount of purples or slight reds that indicate at least 2 meter wave height or more to the waters to the east of the Caribbean as well as to the waters to the far south of Jamaica. So those fishers or marine interests should take necessary precautions so that they are not that drastically affected. And what's causing all of those high wave heights, 2 meter wave heights or more, the strong winds that we'll be receiving for tomorrow. As usual, the yellows represent the strong winds of 25 to 30 knots at most. And we can see that both the Euro and the GFS are sh still showing that the area is supposed to receive some 20 to 25 or to 30 knot winds. So areas to the north of Colombia, to the north of Panama, to the far south of Jamaica are still to receive that strong wind. Especially the waters to the east of the Caribbean. Taking a look at the precipitation forecast or the accumulated precipitation forecast from now up until 10 p.m. on Monday we can see that from now up until then we have the consensus of the rainfall right there to the north of Barbados so those islands that were just mentioned just now so portions of St. Lucia, Martinique to still getting on some amount of rainfall even up to 0 0.3 or 5 of an inch of rainfall however we can see some reds right there across portions of Costa Rica that indicate up to let's say an inch of rainfall that could bring amount about some amount of isolated flash flooding to those spots so portions of southeastern Nicaragua portions of Costa Rica portions of northwestern tip of Panama as well you can also see some rainfall across portions of Colombia and we see consensus on both models I know that when we have consensus like this the chances of it actually happening are much higher we can also see some rainfall right there to the, across the eastern sections of Puerto Rico not to mention sections of Haiti as well taking a look at the western portion of the basin we don't see much in the way of rainfall across portions of Mexico or Guatemala or Belize we see some slight greens right there that's where we have the consensus just some slight greens right there off of Belize as well as portion of central Mexico. Alright, so that's it for today. Thanks for watching.